<laughs> I'm back again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, it's Sunday morning and I still haven't finished my coffee. And I can hear myself, which is terrible. Hang on. Okay. Oh, how are we this morning? Let me just see if my camera's kind of straight and, you know, all the things. Let me just make some minor adjustments here, girls and, and boys and people. That'll do. Welcome. Hope your Sunday morning is going great. I hope some of you are still laying in bed watching because that's perfectly okay if you have nowhere else to be good morning Naomi ha <laughs> you two-year-old oh well I'll try not to swear then whoops good morning Vicky how are we all all right so it is the final day of the great Australian craft show online and uh, today I'm I'm go we've got pattern paper on special we have got collage paper on special and what I want to do is I want to show you this morning how to use some of these awesome embellishments from Simple Stories. Now, why is that still so crooked? Sorry guys. Oh because um, my apologies guys there we go. Right so Simple Stories has always been one of my favourite companies. I'm a huge fan of Simple Stories products, always have been for the 20 plus years I have been working in this industry. And I love their papers and I love the fact that they coordinate all beautifully together. Uh, but what I, I love from their most recent collections is they have released these page pieces. So uh, just to give you a bit of a heads up, these are discounted for today and you'll find them in the show specials category online uh, on nataliemay.com.au. And what I want to do is I want to show you some of these and, and tell you what they're all about because they are a very underestimated tools. Jeanette, that's a negative, darling. Um, okay, so just asking me a question online so when I have got when I've got one of these well, let me show you what these are so these are the, the page pieces these will enable you to use up some of the papers in your stash at home as well as buy all the new papers to go with it of course um, I'm going to be creating a layout today with this collection but let me show you some of the others that are available this is the blessed so very blessed so it comes with the die cuts that look like that this one is called beautiful memories and i do remember when this collection came out i'm just gonna make sure i get no glare here let me turn that light down let me turn that light off for a moment um So they, that's the beautiful memories, and you can see there, there's the ephemera. This one is the together, what's that one called? Gather together, and it's got some animals. Squeeze the day. That's lovely. So you can see all of those. So they come with a big title plus a, quite a few embellishments. So as an addition, in addition to um, creating your... Um, like when you're doing a scrapbook page. They're there. Game night, perfect for boys. Look at that, lovely bright, bold colours. So these have come down to about $5.75 each. Okay, and this is one of my favourites. If you have trouble doing um, bright kids' pages, this is great. Farmhouse. We've got a bit of a country sort of one here. This one is the just memory, just just memoried, 
Just <laughs> Married Wedding Memories Collection. The travel one. The school. We're all, kids are all back to school next week or the week after or whenever it is. So that's very awesome. And then what have we got here? The Escape. What's that say on it? Yeah, that's the Escape one. The Everyday, which is the one I'm about to use. And then the Beautiful Moments, which goes with the latest Gathered collection. So these are fabulous. Sorry, it lights back on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, really, really good. So you'll find those online, uh, nataliemay.com.au. In the side menu, we have got a, uh, a category called Show Specials. Okay? Very cool. So let me show you what is in the pack. So this is what is in the pack. It is your die cuts. The perfect amount of die cuts for you to be able to create a page with. Okay, and they're a really, really good size. So this one here is an awesome title size and it is six inches, six inches long, all right? So they're a really, really good size. So what I want to do today is I want to show you how to whip up a quick, a quick scrapbook layout. Um, I've pulled out some random pattern papers from my, uh, just my papers that I have, have got excess of, you know, out of my personal stash. Um, and I could quite easily build a layout like that, but I've just, since pulling these papers out, had a bit of a brainwave and gone, no, not going to do that. I'm going to do something a little bit arty, a little bit mixed media, and have a little bit of a play with some paints. Um, Sally, no, Sally's just commented. Um, Lou, have you had a moment? Just have a quick glance at this for me, please. No. Sally's just commented. Uh, can you just check the quantity on the Minte kids photo? Sally, I think it's she's talking about the kids. Uh, the kids Minte mini book I think all right so what I thought I might do is because I want to create a scrapbook layout here using these um, here's my pretend photos I thought I might add some watercolors to the background in similar color tones to what I've got here and Or something that's going to work to to add something a little bit arty to my background. Uh, what have I got? So I've just got some water. I've got my Ulta New watercolours here. And I'm just wetting the paints with my water spray with my fancy Adelaide water. And I'm just going to slide those aside. And I thought I might do, put a bit of a... A, a, a pinky orange sort of background on mine and then add some Vicky Booten gold glaze or something like that. Now this is just plain white cardstock, nothing at all fancy. It is, uh, and just off screen here, I've got some water. Um, I've got a wide paintbrush and I do also need... I'm just going to bring out my mat again because I think that that's going to come in handy so I can mix some colours off to the side. All right, so creating my own background is another fun way of, of making this work. Um, all right, so I'm just going to get a little wash of orange going here. So rather than taking it straight off my palette, I'm going to start with orange in the middle and just do some big swatches like that. Now I might do some yellowy color, there we go. Just keeping it super simple and that's a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna be so I'm just gonna pop some water on it and overlapping it a little and I think I need a pink so I need to grab a pink 
that's quite a bright pink. Now, I need to tone this pink down a little, so I'm gonna add some white to it. And that's looking better. There we go. Doesn't have to be complicated, just has to be pretty. That's my theory anyway. Um, and I'm happy with that. So while I've got some extra here, I'm gonna add some splashes. So I've just got a thinner paintbrush and I can dip into here, get a few little splatters going on. Bit of yellow splatter. And I'm very aware that it's not centered. That's bugging me, but you know, I need to move on. Oh, bless you, Louise. Okay, so that is a simple and easy background. In fact, I'm feeling super creative here. While that's drying, I'm going to do another one. This time we might go for, oh, look, I don't know. Um, I'm having a look, I keep referring to my, my colours here and seeing what sort of colours I've got going on. Um, I've got lots of oranges that stand out to me and pinks. So if I go back and create a nice little pink here, and I'm grabbing, mixing my white, there we go, that's a nice shade of pink, I can do... something like that with a nice wide paintbrush and all I'm doing now is just adding a little bit of depth to it and I'm going to add some orange now as well so creating a really fun easy painty background is nothing more than just using a little bit of your own creativity um, just layering the orange over the top without mixing it too much so you can just see, I'm just kind of touching it because it's still quite wet. And then I'm gonna add some stenciling in a moment as well, okay? So I could do this with any sort of watercolors. Uh, I could use um, a wash of Distress Oxide or an ink pad. There's so many different things I can do. And again, limited only by my imagination. I'm gonna add some splatters. But I love mixing my, my watercolours on the side here. So that's just the two colours working quite well. So I'm going to create two layouts using the same set of page pieces from Simple Stories, okay? For those of you just tuning in on this lovely Sunday morning, I'm just going to smoosh that up onto there. Oh, look at that, and I've made a pretty tag. For no reason at all. And this lovely soft pastel one that I did earlier is almost dry. Maybe it needs a, no, leave it alone. Maybe it doesn't need anything. So my page is buckled a little bit. So what I tend to do is dry it from both sides. And um, although it's buckled a little, it doesn't particularly bother me because once it goes into a sleeve, into my album, the, the page straightens out really, really well. Okay, two quick backgrounds. The next thing I want to do is use, I want to add some gold 
to it. I want to give it a lift, okay? So I have got some of the Vicky Booten Creative FX Gold Glaze. This is amazing, this stuff. Can you see how pretty it is? <laughs> All right. So I would like to add some of these dots. So this is my All The Dots stencil. And finding a palette knife. I've just got a little baby one here. Let's give this one a go. And I'm going to put my stenciling down in a couple of spots. Actually, I'm not going to use a palette knife. Let's use a, blend, a blending brush. I'm just making sure it's clean. There we go. So I can put it on with my palette knife. Whoops, that's a little generous. Spread it out. a little on like that there we go works for me okay so just getting a little stenciling on and just using the blending tool instead of the palette knife makes it look pretty great and my photos are going to go in the middle okay so I'm just going to put that one aside to dry come back with this I've got a wet a damp spot on here so a piece of paper towel to dry that off would be spectacular about now so I could have just hit that with the heat gun again but there's just a little there that I need to take off and just a little there to take off Good morning, Sandy. Welcome, my friend. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing, and I might use these bigger ones this time. So using my blending tool that is usually used for inking with ink pads, but this time I'm mixing it up and using the glaze. So the glaze is actually like a 3D glaze, which is awesome because it does dry with body, but this particular glaze also spreads really well. Happy with that, happy with that, all right. And now I'm going to drop that into my water so that it doesn't dry and then I've ruined it. So that is the Vicky Booten Creative FX Gold Glaze. Then I'm going to have, no it doesn't need purple darling, sorry Deb. Just going to hit it with the heat gun to dry it off. Doesn't take long because as you can see there's not a super heavy coat see that shine put a bit of gold on your tag now that's a good idea my tag where's my tag here it is
I've actually just had a, there we go. I should have, I should have read the comment first, but this is just, I dumped that in my water container. So now I'm just gonna swipe that on there. Cross the clean water? No, I don't think I need any clean water. Nothing no. wrong with dirty water, thankfully. All right, so Vicky Booten Gold Glaze. You need it in your life. All right, next thing we're going to do is think about how we're going to lay out these two pages using, first and foremost, we scrapbooking. Scrapbooking is about photos. It is about taking a photo and telling a story that goes with it, right? So therefore, your photos have to be first and forefront. So I have cut here some, um, what I tend to do is cut a six by four photo mat and then I trim a little off because I always find that a standard printed six by four photo is always too big. So even if I go to there and there, so I can put two photos on a page and do the same thing, say here and here. Okay, now I actually think they're a bit big, so let's just pretend that I have got a smaller photo. Um, let's have a look here. I've got, so I've cut that to be three and three quarters by five and three quarters. I might cut that down to be four. And if I've got a photo, it'll come down to just cutting off the, you know, cutting the background out of it or something like that. That is my, my standard, cutting that tree off the side or the, the photo bomber to the left or whatever it might be, okay? Um, so there's my photos, my pretend photos, and even one of these, is a, these are too big, but let's offset them like that. And let's have, go back to having a look at our page pieces. So firstly, let's go the title. So the title on here can go down across the bottom. I've got a rainbow, which is gonna sit there. I've got some flowers. So I've got a little cluster of bits and pieces, flower, flower. I have a third flower that I'd put up here. Um, I can't pick these up, so I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Quick Sticks tool. Picks it up. Has got a pokey thing. Um, so this is like a, a, bull, a bulldog clip sort of tag. So a little embellishment. Love heart, where am I gonna put that? Love hearts at the end of the rainbow. It's coming together. Now I don't have to use them all, but I'm thinking that I like, enjoy the everyday. Or I could say, see the good everyday, but I'm gonna go with enjoy the everyday. And I love putting, I'm gonna put that up there and that there, all right? So I've got two bits left over. Um, this is my journaling piece. So because you are all massive journalers, said no one ever, I could quite easily use that as a base to stick those on and pop it down here. or pop it into here. Okay. So that will work really well on that style project, okay? I like that. So I'm gonna take those bits off now and I'll do the same thing and lay it out on the other project. not had one of these in my life until late last year like seriously look at that these are in the tools category on the website no idea how much they are but they're bloody awesome okay so on this page where I've got two big photos yes I do Deb 
So Deb just asked, do I sell that? Yes, I do. It is in the tools section online. All right, so this time I've got two big photos. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna start with my big title. And I like my big title there. Or maybe I like it, I like it up there. And I'm gonna say, see the good every day. And I'm going to add my rainbow down here. So I've got my gold at the bottom of the rainbow. Pot of gold, bottom of the rainbow, get that. My flowers will go at the top here. I'm gonna stick a flower down here with my rainbow. I've got my clippy clip thing. Actually the clippy clip thing can go in here. Do I want the camera? Actually the camera might be better than the rainbow because this is me capturing my happy snaps. A couple of hearts around the place. Uh, do I want the word smile? Smile might work quite nicely up in here. Enjoy that, don't need that. Journaling note, could slide that in there. How's that? Quick, quick scrapbook layout using one packet of these. The die cut ephemera page pieces. So what I might do is I might just crack open a packet just to demonstrate some of the others. And I will stick all of these down in a moment and then put them, put a photo up for you to see the finished layout. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get that out of the way. And I've just got another scrap piece of white here and let's have a look and see what other So based on, based on the colour combinations that I've used, of course I'm not going to open the that colour because we've done that colour. That might be nice. Okay, I'll come back to that one. I really do love the school one. I really should finish scrapbooking Jessica's school photos too, just, just between you and me, since she's now finished school and I think I maybe got up to year eight. Oh, they're going to work nice. Oh, they would work nice too with this colour combination. All right, let's have a look. So the other thing is you've got some ideas on the back here on how you can use it. Um, this will be nice because it's got a pop of teal through it. That'll work with the similar colour combinations. Um, not a gardener. Not a gardener, but they are super cute. Boots, gloves, forks, inexpensive awesome things. All right, let's go with this one. Let's open the packet very carefully. Slide them out and have a look and see what's in here. This one has about 20 pieces in it. Oh, oh, she says. The border. So this is what I always do with my die cut sheets is I will always open them put them on a piece of white or a piece of flat cardstock just so that I can see exactly what's in my packet. So this one's full of butterflies and hearts. All right, so on this page, let's create a layout using this. So we've got two simple photographs. I'm not taking it offline. I'm, I'm gonna repackage. They'll never know. Um, we'll pop the word beautiful down there. We will grab that flower and pop that there, which I quite like. Um, butterfly, we've got the big butterfly. I don't know that I need the big butterfly with this one. But let's pop it up there just the same. I've got some other little bits here for a pop of colour. We've got the word memories, so I'm going to attach that down there. And then there is a ton of other butterflies and hearts 
and bits and pieces, all right? And then I could, you know, sprinkle all of these love hearts here all through there, okay? Instant layout. Bam. Let's do the same thing on the other design that I did. So this is just with a watercolour background, but I really, really love the idea of using pattern papers. And if you're stuck for an idea, like I said, they've got on the back of the packaging how you can use them. Beautiful. It's got this border strip here. So we're gonna stick that down there. I'm going to layer that in underneath it. Um, I don't want the big black butterfly on this one. I don't think that it suits. It doesn't need to be there. Although I could pop it in there. I've got a flower. Butterfly. 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 And then I'd run some hearts up down through there. So you can see how really effective these are these page builders are. So there's there's so many other designs. Um, I also printed off off the Simple Stories website. The first one that I showed you, which is my favourite one, which is the um, Enjoy the Everyday. This is one of the pages that's been created using that. So um, using that collection. So you've got a bit of an idea. There's so many ideas out on the interwebs where you can get um, plenty of you know suggestions and whatnot. Uh, so if I take those off and what I think I might do is I'll quickly jump in here now and finish off this layout using the dun, 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 let's pop that up there and I think I'll do this layout all right so let's put this together and finish it off uh, first and foremost I'm going to foam tape my foam mount these guys um, standard nationally no foam tape in sight so cardboard is going to work a treat uh, to cardboard mount because you know because we're saving the environment and being a little bit more sustainable. And this is going to give it a lift up off the page. So what's everybody up to on this lovely Sunday? Anyone just hanging out with me for the day? Sally, hanging out with a three-year-old for the day. You're a bigger person than me, babe. Uh, it's safe to say that I do not have the patience for that anymore. But we've had this conversation. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to pop some foam tape on the back of my words here. I'm not going to go over the top. I'm just getting it done because I want those to have a lift. Uh, can't stress how important it is to have good quality foam tape and double-sided tape. You know that I do chat about this a bit. Did I have that up or down before? Hang on, H 
hang on. Let's just lay this out again. So I, I think this time I'll pop the rainbow. Um, yes, you want good quality bits because you don't want everything to have, to, you know, to come off in in a certain amount of time. You know, you don't want the bits and pieces to fall fall off. Stop it, Natalie, you're overthinking it. Stick it down, fluffing around with it. Yeah, I thought I did, thank you, Deb. All right, so now I'm gonna stick on the rainbow. I oh, know no, I had that there, but I wanna go the rainbow because I love a rainbow. Who doesn't love a rainbow? So yes, Simple Stories are making scrapbooking easy by having these embellishments ready for you to go. And I think that that is fabulous. I might slide that in there. Oh, that's a clever idea. Look at me go. It's still early, the brain's still working, look at that. Sliding it in like that. Now, I've only glued it on one bit and left it loose here so that I can get a little foam tape and lift it up. Then this guy here is going to be foam taped as well. Um, now I have left room to be able to slide my photos in there because that's important. Done, done. Flower, needs an orange flower up the top. Okay, so today on nataliemay.com.au, as the Sunday special, which is the last day of the online show, we have got 15% off of patterned papers and paper collections and six by six paper pads. Paper things, paper things, paper things are on special. If, because you need some more paper in your life. Now, the other thing that we have on special today is the I'll put that down there is the collage paper as well that does exclude the Natalie, Natalie May scrapbooking collage paper. Um, so it's there's Dina Wakeley collage paper, there is Dilutions and Art by Marlene collage paper. There are a ton of products on special. All Art by Marlene products are still 15% off as well, so that includes. Uh, we've got some watercolours on special. We have pattern papers, collage papers. We've got this heaps. There's a ton. So um, today is the last opportunity for you to get hold of those bargains. Uh, what else is there? I'm just going to do that. We've got a awesome bundle, an Art by Marlene bundle available as well. And I'm going to put the darker love heart at the top because it is a heavier embellishment. It's visually heavier. And then the lighter one can go down the bottom. Um, what else have we got? We have got... I don't think I want the smile. I'm not going to put it on there. If you don't need it, don't put it on there. Um, so yes, we've got a whole heap of stuff, which is today only. 
And just to recap as well on the no judgment postage, um, we have got the fantastic special where you only need to pay for postage one time. So if you order three or four more times today because you go, oh, you know what? Maybe I need those really nice ultra new watercolors that Natalie used. Or maybe I need to get some the Vicky Booten glaze. Or maybe I need to put some of those simple stories embellishments in my cart. Okay, the idea is, is you can do that, but you do need to pay for postage one time, which is only $12.50 for three kilos. Uh, and we will, any additional orders, you select no judgment at the checkout. So just take a second, look at the shipping there and go, oh, am I paying the right amount for shipping? Yes, I am. So um, we will bundle all of your orders together for that no judgment option, okay? And if you are in Adelaide, your order will be ready for collection on Wednesday between 10 and 3. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we will be open. Um, let's just pretend I've cut off that barcode strip off that paper. And there we go. All right, so just to recap, I'm really loving that. that that's come up looking so great. I've still got room to slide my photos in there, photos in there. I could have quite easily done it with a layout that looked like that, creating a mixed media background, or I could have quite easily added patterned papers from my stash or from the collection that actually goes with that. So there we go. Love it. Um, so just to recap again, we are using the Simple Stories Dun, 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 page pieces. These today we have marked them down to be $5.75 each. Um, so we've marked them down to, to make it easy for you guys. You'll find them in the show specials category. Pop some in your carts today. Um, but there's so many options there for you. This one reminds me of Super Mario Bros. How good is that? I love that games night. Maybe that's we have we quite often have cards night, but not off not games. I haven't cracked out the games in a while. Um, this one's got the uh, the farmhouse on it. Some pigs, some chickens, a cow. This one's got some cacti, cactus, cactuses, cactuses, cacti on it. There's a married one. There's some butterflies. There's a travel set. The excellent school set. We have got the everyday, which is the one that I've just used. This is the best one, without a doubt. There's a bit of a home-based one here. We have a gardening set, a lovey-dovey, all my heart, love hearts. There's a travel set. And then there is a kind of neutral butterfly set one as well. All right, guys, that's it from me. I have got some fussy cutting to do ready for the next class. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. And don't forget that you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Uh, if not, I look forward to seeing you back here at 1.30. So, yeah, 1.30 for the next one. Uh, and I will see you then. Thanks, guys.